right, you guys, let's just jump into the word of God this week. In James chapter one and verse 22, it says, and be a doer of the word, not just a hearer only, deceiving oneself. God is calling us to be a doer of his word. And whenever we're a doer of his word, we're acting upon the word of God. There are many moments in my life where I think, you know what, I've been speaking out the word of God. I know the word of God. But am I actually doing what God's word is telling me to do? Am I taking that step out in faith and, and truly relying and trusting that, Lord, I'm going to hear your voice. I'm going to do what you're saying. I'm going to act upon your word. You know, Jesus is such a beautiful example of being a doer of the word of God. And you see the fruit that was produced out of his life. I mean, it's awesome. I want my life to produce fruit. And in order for that to happen, I'm going to have to be a doer of the word. And it truly is just that simple because we have a good father who wants to take care of our needs. And maybe you've been scared to step out in faith and do what God's telling you to do. God will always take care of his children. And when he's called you to do something, he's going to meet your needs. He's going to protect you. He's going to be with you every step of the way. That's our good father. That's, that's the faithfulness of God. And that's putting a trust in him, knowing, God, when I know you, man, when you know God, you can't help but to trust him because you see how good he is and that his word is truth. God is calling us to be doers of the word this week. And in, to be a doer of the word, you're going to have to stretch yourself. There might be things you got to cut out, things that you got to do. Sometimes it's a little painful to stretch yourself and to take that step of faith. But it's not allowing the devil to come in and to steal your joy or to put fear in your heart of, oh man, God's telling me to do this and now it's going to be scary and the devil's going to come in and he's going to try to steal it. You know what? You've got to just get bold in the power of the Holy Ghost, knowing that God, when I step out in faith and do what you're calling me to do, Lord, that you are coming in and you're performing a miracle, that you're coming in and you're doing what your word says, and that I'm just going to receive it. In Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 11, and you know, this, this is probably all your favorite scripture. This is everyone's favorite scripture. You love this scripture. I love the scripture. But it says, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord. Aren't you glad that God is always thinking about you? And that they're good thoughts. He says, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and a hope. Then in verse 12, then you will call upon me and go and pray to me and I will listen to you. And you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all of your heart. That God has a plan and a purpose for your life. And he's got good thoughts towards your life. But he's telling you, he said, I need you to step out in faith. I need you to call upon me. I need you to come to me. I need you to seek after me, find me, search for me. I need you to give me your whole heart. That's being a doer of the word of God. But you know what I love about this passage of scripture? It's in verse 10. He says, for thus says the Lord, after 70 years are completed at Babylon, I will visit you and perform my good word toward you and cause you to return to this place. That God has a good word for the doers. Praise God. And you know, when he has a good word for your life, that word is truth. And you can hold fast to that word. When you step out in faith and become a doer of the word, God has something good for you. Whew, and you think about the goodness of God and the gifts that he has for your life and his glory, that he'll manifest his glory. He'll manifest his power to those who are doers of his word, who love him and keep his commandments and walk in all of his ways and trust in him. I don't know about you, but I'm excited about being a doer of the word this week because God has a good word for me and for you. Praise God, and he's going to perform it, and it's going to bring a future and a hope into my life. So be a doer of the word this week. It's just that simple. God's going to add the increase, and he's going to help you every step of the way because we serve such a good father who takes care of his children. All right, well, I love you guys. It's going to be a blessed week. I'm a doer. You're a doer. We're going to act upon his word. We're going to step out in faith. Amen. Amen. All right. God is faithful. See you guys next week. Bye.